guys welcome to windy studio and yes it's saturday and i was not in a good mood to make a video but yesterday i changed my facebook banner image into a video and since then i'm getting a lot of requests to create a tutorial on it and basically it's really simple and for that i will be using adobe premiere pro and i've been using it from last 15 years but this is my first tutorial on an adobe premiere pro so with that note let's start with the tutorial Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and we have to start making a sequence first. So for that go to file, click on new and go for sequence and go to sequence setting. Actually you can choose any preset from here, it doesn't matter. Go to sequence setting, change it to custom and change the frame size. This is the most important part. So Facebook frame size is, is, is really different. It's 812 by 320. You have to keep in mind that it should be exactly 812 by 320. And for the rest, just keep it as it is and click on OK. You can see a sequence. And now I'll import my video file. So for that, go to File, Import and this is the logo animation i'll be using so click over here click on open so here you can see this logo is 1920 by 1080p so double click on it you can open it on the source monitor i don't need the audio file so just drag and drop the video file over here Then you will see this mismatch warning. Just click on keep existing setting. Now click on spacebar to make preview the video. And the video size is too big, so select the clip, go to effect control. Let's make it a little smaller, maybe something like this. Alright, let's make a copy, control C. Control V to make a loop and right click, change it to speed duration and make it reverse. So, see, so this is how we can make a loop. And I want to get rid of this black space from here. So for that, I'll go over here, file, new, create a color map. And from here, I'll just choose the same color. Click OK. And then just put it right under and drag it. So here. Now export the video. For that, go to file export media and from here I'll just go for edge.264 and I'll just click on YouTube full HD and change it to 812 by 320 From here, change the VVR to CVR and change it to 25. Click on use maximum render setting and click on export. You can change the file name. I'll just name it as banner. And for now, I'll just keep it on desktop. Click on save. 
click on export. So once you're done with the export, go to your Facebook page and from here, change, it, change your cover into a video. So that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this video. And see you guys in the next video.